Okay, so today we're talking about <clears throat> finding the surface area of a rectangular prism when you have the area. Okay, so let's go ahead and put up, let's say uh, the area could be um, 10 hypothetically, okay? 10 square centimeters, okay? See how that works out. Okay. All right, so you have different variables. You have an A, you have an L, an H, and a W, okay? So you have four basic four variables in it. So you can substitute any variables at any time, okay? So we're traditionally, we're used to solving for the area. <clears throat> you don't always have to solve for the area. The area is just another variable, just like your length, height, and width, okay? So here, so we've got our diagram right here. So it's, it doesn't really matter which one you designate the length, width, the height, because it's all being multiplied together, so it doesn't matter. So our area is 10 square centimeters. Always a good idea to go ahead and designate what your length is, width is, and your height is before you even start. So you won't have to keep looking back at your uh, shape and maybe getting them confused, okay? All right, so first step. Formula's already up there. We're going to substitute the first thing. So we'll go from left to right, just like you're reading in math, okay? Start here, go that way. First variable is what? It's an A, okay? So it tells us what A is, so we're just going to substitute that. Two, our length is four. Our height is, we don't know, plus two. Our height is, we don't know, is H. Our width is two, plus two. Our length is four. Our width is two. So we've got 10 equals, that's eight. H plus 4H plus 2 times 4 is 8, 8 at 16, okay? So, we, we can combine some of these like terms, okay? So, we've got 10 equals, we're going to combine these two right here, which is a 12H, bring your 16 down that we're not using, okay? So, this is kind of like a, a two-step equation, okay? So, as I've always taught in two-step equations, you always get rid of the addition and subtraction stuff first, then go to the multiplication and division, okay? So ultimately, we got to get our H by ourselves. So this this multiplication 12 is stopping us, and this adding 16 is stopping us. So we're going to get rid of this adding 16. Okay, so this is not going to work out necessarily right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and change this area to 20. So we don't have a negative, okay? So let's go ahead and change that area to 20 so we can have something to take away from this, okay? All right, so left to right again. 20 minus 16 is 4 equals 12H. Those cancel, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, to get H by itself, we've got to get rid of the 12 on each side. We divide each side by 12, okay? So, 4 divided by 12. It's going to be decimal, but it's a positive. Okay, so in this instance, it's three-tenths repeating, okay? So we could come up with an arbitrary bigger number, and it would be the same same issue right there, okay? So that's just kind of the one that I just made up out of my head. So that is this, the same process or the right process. 